Okay, so we are on a field trip today. We met up and we are in the parking lot of Trader Joe's. You can see the sign there. So we just want to emphasize that stocking your kitchen with good healthy foods and being prepared is so crucial to staying on track with good healthy eating habits. So that's why we're trying to share some of our, our healthy finds. We're here, here at Trader Joe's and then we're going to be also looking at some other supermarkets for you in the future. So yeah. That you know, ingredients and label reading, it's so important to master, especially after you hit the, you know, the 50, mi 50 mile, <laughs> the 50 year mark. So uh, it's just a, a really important part of what we do, right? Yeah. So we are Jane and Stephanie from The Nourishing Gurus and for the best wellness and weight loss advice for women over 50, be sure to like our information, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos. We're gonna pop in and uh, poke around and get some of our favorite finds and then we will share them with you afterwards, so stay tuned. All right, so we're all done shopping and I'm gonna turn my camera around so we can check out and see what Jane got and then we'll go check out my cart. All right, Jane, what'd you get? All right, so some of the things we got were the same. Um, this is more of a snack food, but we like these cassava chips, which are grainless. And one of the things that we like a lot about them is that they are made with a healthy oil. So that uses avocado oil. So we usually look for things that are made with avocado oil or olive oil instead of a lot of the sunflower, soy oil, safflower oils. So this, this passes our test. It's kind of a fun snack item. You can dip it in hummus and do all kinds of good things with it. Okay, so that was that. Um, I just got a bunch of organic arugula here, uh, organic bananas. Uh, Trader Joe's is also kind of a nice place to get nuts. But they have nuts can be really pricey, and they have just good packs of nuts. There's some walnuts and hazelnuts. I got some organic almonds that are in the in the bag, so uh, a nice place to stock up on your nuts. So I haven't had this one before, but Stephanie turned me on to their organic sesame oil. That was in one of our newsletters, how amazing sesame oil is. Such an intense flavor when it's toasted. So we like to use this after cooking. You don't cook with it, but after cooking, you can just sprinkle it on your food and gives phenomenal flavor. So we like getting that. That's great to get here. Great price, right? Less than what I think you it's $3.99 or something like that. Yeah, okay. And you need such a small amount. Such a small amount brings that amazing intensity. Uh, this is one of their whole dressings. Not all of them pass our test. Many of them are made with a canola oil or soy oil. This one actually has no added oil. It just has cashews and lime, and I'm gonna put my glasses on again. Um, <laughs> and cashew butter and ginger and uh, cilantro and just some spices, and it looks really yummy. So I'm gonna try that one on a salad dressing, as a salad dressing, or even like put on chicken or fish or vegetables. It's a nice dressing that way. Uh, Sorry for all the cork sounds in the background. <laughs> That's what you get for going live in a parking lot. <laughs> exactly. You can get red lentil pasta anywhere, but Trader Joe's does often have good prices on the bean pastas, which can be more expensive. So I picked up a packet of organic red lentil pasta. Uh, and you can get really good price on quinoa here. They have just red quinoa, or this one is a tricolor. So you'll get more antioxidants from the different colors. Good price on quinoa here. And this is also organic. Okay. So we're big fans of the cauliflower gnocchi, and I personally also like the kale gnocchi. And so you can get both of these. Just be aware that it is not a low carb item because it does add potato starch and the cassava uh, is carb, high what's carb. That? The cassava in it is high oh, carb. Right, yes. The cassava, potato starch, chickpea flour. But it uses extra virgin olive oil, which is awesome. And such a fun side dish. You can saute them in just a little bit of oil. You can steam them and add a sauce. And we use that as our starch, right, Steph? It's yeah. not our like vegetable at the Right, yeah. yeah. And I we my family didn't prefer the kale so much but like kale. but you like it so everybody you know everybody has their own thing exactly yeah, cauliflower is a little milder yeah it it's yummy things. this is more of a stronger flavor but um we yeah it. and we have these jicama wraps oh those are great 
which are really fun. And believe it or not, they actually bend. Uh, they're super low carb, really crunchy. They're barely any calories. You can just wrap like a little turkey or hummus or something in here. They're kind of small, but it works. They have a little crunch to them. A lot of crunch, yeah, a little crunch. And you can also just munch on them for a snack or spread some guacamole on them or something. So that's a really fun thing that they have here. And also got Stephanie turned me on to these. You have these in your pack. Oh yeah, the acai. Every day, my smoothie. I I actually one thing I do is I I open the packs, I cut them up, and I break them into half, and then I drop a half of my smoothie, and I yeah, freeze it them. Yeah, it is one big long. Yeah. Kind of like a big long. Ice yeah, cream. there's only what four in there or six. Yes. Yeah, four, four packs. I so I break them in half. So it's basically for eight smoothies, for me. That's yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. And these are, even though it's like supposedly fruit, they're mostly like just fat, good healthy fat, but they're loaded with antioxidants. So it's an awesome thing to add to your smoothie to get some extra fat and fiber too, I believe. Um, yeah, and three grams of fiber per box. I picked up some wild, did you get this too, Steph? Yeah, Yeah, I did. we got some wild salmon. That'll be for lunch today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was also fun. And you can get some pretty good prices on really dark chocolate. We like to get things that are over 80%. This one actually is 85% cocoa. And uh, so this is, I always pick up chocolate when I'm here. I think, I think that's what I had in my cart. For the most part. All right, looks All like right, you scored. You're out on Stephanie. All right. You're on, Steph. You know, it's funny, you get home and you're like, I don't even remember what I bought, right? But uh, let's go see. Okay, so I got a couple of these. My family loves coleslaw, and I, we make a super easy, low-carb coleslaw. Uh, it goes in one day, one serving. Maybe we'll post the recipe in the links below. It's so easy. And that's organic, which is really yeah, nice. It's organic, and obviously you can shred your own cabbage and carrots and stuff, but this is like a super time saver. I love, I love these little mini uh, Persian cucumbers. They're just so great for snack or for lunch. Just cut them up and eat them. They're usually a little crunchier, I think, than regular, probably regular cucumbers. Celery. Uh, we about that. We already talked about the acai. Right, and the salmon. She got that too. Oh, just some frozen cauliflower. And notice that those are multicolor, so yeah. you're going to get some nice yeah, really polyphenols. Yeah, it's a small serving, you know, but and, uh, we like it. Good to see in here. Oh, I love, we love this sauerkraut. If you're a sauerkraut fan, you got to try this. It's really good. It has these little, like, pieces of pickles in here, and it's just a great sauerkraut. I love putting it on my salads or on a sandwich or something like that. Oh, got some organic beets. This oh, I great. miss those. Yeah, so my son I might loves have to go back. beets, and they're so delicious. And uh, they, you know, they have the greens. Not that the beet greens aren't great for you, but this should take, uh, take a safe little time of cutting greens off and everything. So I got a few of those. So this is going to be a new try. Found these plantain croutons. Yum. Let's see, the ingredients are plantain, high oleic sunflower oil, garlic, and sea salt. So we're gonna give these a try and we'll We're gonna give a pass on the high oleic sunflower oil. It's a little uh, cleaner and, and um, doesn't oxidize like other, it's not as refined. Yes, and I haven't tried these before. These are just almond flour tortillas. Not too many ingredients in it. They feel soft, like they would uh, be great for, you know, put some turkey or some whatever you want on there. So I'll try these to let you know. We love these coconut chips in my house. This is great. I, I, so a lot of times I make smoothie bowls, and so uh, I like to add a little bit of crunch to it, so I'll pour some of this in. Or I know my husband, a lot of times, he'll just make his own kind of cereal with this and some nuts and some raspberries, and like, that's like homemade cereal. So these are, these are really good. It's hard to find some that are like this kind of crispy, and they're kind of bigger, so a little hardier. So that's my haul for today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. As always, if you like this information, click the like button, 
subscribe to our channel and be sure to click the bell so you get notified of when we put out future videos. All right, so that is a wrap. Uh, that was our main haul for the day. There are some ingredients that we do try to avoid that has a Trader Joe's, not everything there kind of passes our test, right Stephanie? For sure. Um, especially like in some of the frozen food stuff. So we're gonna share that in another video of why we may not choose some of those prepared foods. Uh, but we're gonna save that for another time because we feel like this video is, is more about the yes foods, right? Right, what we did get. What we did get.